April Cummings in for Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Wednesday. The Ministry of Education recently recognized Feed Our Future and the Kiwanis Club of Grand Cayman for their outstanding contributions to the nutrition of Cayman students. Through their support, parents had the assurance that their children had access to the food they need while building long-term resiliency and food security for them and their families. We thank you. May God continue to bless and enlarge your programs. The Minister of Education, the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Conley, handed over a plaque to representatives of each organization to commemorate the occasion. The Kiwanis Club of Grand Cayman has supported local students through its Buy a Kid Breakfast program since 2005 and its homeschool lunch program at the onset of COVID in 2020. Director of the Department of Education Services, Mr. Mark Ray, also took the opportunity to recognize other entities for their generosity throughout the years. I really want to say thank you uh, on behalf of our entities because without you we would have had a number of students not necessarily knowing where the next meal would have come from. Um, good nutrition and, and making sure that students have access to food is such a vital part of learning. Um, where we have students coming in and they're unable to focus uh, throughout the day. Um, some of them have left home and the only thing they might have had was a harsh word. <laughs> you filled the gap for so many years. Chairperson of the Homeschool Lunch Program, Ms. Katie Pentney, also expressed her appreciation for the recognition while collecting the award. Thank you very much uh, for this beautiful award. Uh, we obviously are very happy to take care of the children of Cayman and we will continue to do so in other ways. Um, and it's something that's very important to us, uh, looking after the children, especially when it comes to food and education. So we really appreciate this recognition and uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. To learn more about the Public School Meals Program or to sign up for its interactive meal management system, visit myschoolpos.com. There are a variety of free family-friendly activities being planned throughout May and early June and an exciting jubilee event on the Discovery Day weekend. The 16th of May is the Cayman Islands Charity Auto Show in downtown Georgetown. The show is free to attend but will also feature a street food fair called Live where guests can purchase tickets to explore various food stalls. For more info or to register for the auto show as a vehicle or vendor, visit CaymanAutoShow.com. And a reminder that the Queen's Birthday Parade is also taking place on Monday, June 6th in front of Government House on West Bay Road. To learn more about the grand finale to the Queen's Platney Jubilee and her birthday celebrations, be sure to visit gov.ky forward slash jubilee. To the weather now, the forecast for tonight calls for partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers, temperatures falling to the mid-70s, and winds east to northeast at 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. The synopsis calls for moderate seas and winds to continue across the Cayman area for the next 24 hours as a pressure gradient tightens due to a cold front over the northern Caribbean. Satellite images show cloudiness north of the Cayman area moving slowly towards the west and similar conditions are expected through Friday morning. For the latest weather, visit weather.gov.ky. And that brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm April Cummings, in for Donna Bush on this Wednesday. Have a great one, everyone. Seek the latest accurate information on COVID-19 only from official sources at gov.ky forward slash coronavirus.